So my name is Christina, um, so I'm here today with a group as part of Anonymous for the Voiceless where um, we do street outreach um, for animal rights and so basically how we set up is it's almost like um, an art demonstration where we present footage to the public of what happens uh, to animals in these industries. Um, we, we don't approach people so it's you know we only speak to people who are open to hearing about the message, who show a bit of interest um, and we just have an open-ended conversation with them to try and get their feelings on the subject um, and surely if they're against the matter, which most people would be, um, we try and help them, give them resources um, and lead them to a, the logical conclusion which is veganism um, and give them resources on how they can you know, align their actions with what they already feel in their own in their own selves. We're part of uh, a pretty big network. It actually started over two years ago in Australia, uh, and now it's in over 700 chapters all over the world. Um, so it's quite a fast-growing movement. Here in Ireland, we have chapters in Cork, Limerick, Dublin. Wexford, um, I hope I'm not forgetting any now, um, we have Sligo, Donegal um, and also in Belfast um, and it's, it's growing really fast. We fund everything ourselves so um, for example we have some screens here today and we did a crowd funder and we funded it locally between ourselves through our volunteers as well. So if you wanted to support us locally here in Cork, at the moment we're fundraising for more equipment because uh, we believe that if we have the bigger screens that it makes it clearer for the public to see what's going on. It's also um, safer from, you know, like the welfare of the activists because they don't have to carry the laptops. Um, even though we do obviously get people to move out very quickly because we don't want people to feel uncomfortable. Um, but the TVs is much less strain and it, it just uh, it feels a lot uh, more comfortable when we're standing in the cube as well. Um, but at the moment we have that GoFundMe which you could find the link to through our AV Cork page. Uh, we share it on there, we share it on Facebook and we've had a really good response. The, like the volunteers are so receptive to it and also like local businesses as well have been chipping in and the main uh, business that's been really supportive of everything we're doing and of all good causes in the area as well is Art Cafe um, and they've actually only been up and running just less than a year and that's almost around the same time as we started doing these demonstrations so it's been really exciting to see their business grow and they give so much back to the community as well um, just a really 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 ethical business um, it's such a nice environment and she's always willing to support and get behind good causes and um, yeah I recommend her to everyone. Basically myself and my partner um, just over a year ago we went to Dublin Veg Fest um, and there we saw lots of talks that inspired us um, to, to get more active and to start speaking out for animals because I always used to believe that by not paying for animal products I wasn't contributing to these industries and I honestly felt I was doing enough um, but then my perspective changed a lot after that uh, after watching some of those talks and I thought that if I truly believe something is wrong it's not enough for me just to stop supporting it I should be standing up against that um, and then we looked for how we could get more involved um, and locally here there there's some really good things like outreach tables um, and meetups and like that organized by local vegans um, we really wanted to get involved in the street outreach so we googled it and we saw this anonymous for the voiceless and that it wasn't actually set up in Ireland yet so um, we kind of like thought oh well we better do it now because no one else is doing it um, and it's been so great I mean we have such a great group of volunteers here and um, it's a real team effort and it's it's kind of opened doors for us because it's you know led us into different forms of activism we've made such amazing friends and it feels like we're you know, part of a movement, um, you know, you know, and not just me at home, like, worried about what's going on out, out in the world now, we can feel like we're actually doing something about it.